It's time again! Keep the silver card to the right here in mind. I'm quickly welcoming you to KO number 52 and then we will put our attention on that mentioned car and its driver. Not willing to stop for this light. Fast! Ignorance and egoism. Basically bad stuff, but you're here just for that, aren't you? Well, you know, we always have quite a bunch of that to offer. Jumping from the freeway into a forest road and behold of one of the most pointless passes ever existing. Wow, that dude saved quite the time. If we're generous, it might add up to a whole second. Never mind the pedestrians, they don't count in traffic, do they? As we discussed before, it could be that safety distance does actually have a reason. You will see in a second that the van driver over there doesn't seem to think this way. Close call indeed. Without checking, the van driver dodged over to the middle lane and the driver of the little Fiat 500 thought that both vehicles have touched each other, which is why the car is moving over to the shoulder. But turned out, they actually didn't. As then our camera driver passed the van, he saw that the driver is fiddling around with the phone. Great idea to keep going with your intentional distraction that almost caused a crash. We are having a case of the zoomies on the Autobahn here. And on the middle lane, we see a Volkswagen Golf that doesn't seem to be much in a hurry. Yet. But two minutes later, on a connecting road to another direction... It's a whole different story. Illegally passing on the shoulder. Also, he's now going quite a bit faster, but why is that? To just squeeze himself onto the exit lane in the last second. What a hero. We all love insecure drivers. Entering a freeway on the acceleration lane and instead of properly speeding up, rather braking because of ridiculous uncertainty. If you're too afraid of driving properly, better take the bicycle. Entering a freeway is one of those moments where you gotta go fast. But in most circumstances, more speed is bad. The silver car wanted to be as far ahead as possible, but both the blue car and the camera driver were accelerating to try to prevent it. It's not only stupid, but also illegal here. All three of the drivers here were acting idiotic. Here, two little clips from the same spot in Austria. Hard to see, but cars from the right got a stop sign. And you should slowly crawl into the street to watch for traffic. But nobody ain't got no time for that. Water may be a little hard on the horn, but hey, you gotta make them know of their mistakes, otherwise they won't learn. Remember this thing about yellow markings having higher priority than white ones? Okay, du hast es nicht verstanden. Apparently, he really doesn't get it. Also, white markings can be crossed out in yellow, where they are not active anymore, like this straight arrow on the right lane. I won't argue if this aggressive honking was needed, but that other driver made a mistake and then even complained about being honked at. Of course he does, because how dare you honk at your majesty! Are we still believing in mankind? Uh, I got a cure for that. Look at the ridiculous lemmings. One dumbass for whatever reason driving past this little obstacle in oncoming traffic, despite some clear markings and various people following. Not the brightest bulbs and talking about illumination, that is one hell of a segue. I didn't say it was the best segue, but whatever, lightning is something very interesting to look at. But make sure not getting too fascinated about it while driving, otherwise you end up distracted and something like this happens.
We are inside town, you can pass on the right here. But why does this specialist need to cut us off like this? Thanks for nothing, Frank. Hey, look at this, I got a lovely educational clip for you. What do you have to do when the light turns red? You have to stop. But when the light is already red for long, never mind and cross it like it doesn't exist. Thank you. Talking about sensible behavior, watch the van in front of us. Yeah, right. Your impatience is more important than traffic rules and safety. Here we got a light which is not running. And look at all those cyclists, of which quite some don't have lights, but awesome ninja clothing. You don't see them coming. We often show idiot cyclists, but certainly not all of them are idiots. I am a passionate cyclist too. In this clip, one properly stops, the other one goes for full kamikaze mode. And wanna see a really special bike? We are stopping at a light, to the right remains a bit of space and we got a protective bike lane there. And here is our very special bike. A little quiz for you. You are in a foreign town and took a wrong turn. You want to turn around? What do you do? Using the upcoming roundabout at close proximity? Nah, you make an instant U-turn in the most obnoxious way. Because why would you care about the other people behind you having a driving license? It's all about you. Screw everybody else. Wow, I don't recognize this area in Germany. Because it isn't Germany, it's Malaysia. And it seems very similar to how things are going here. Uh, except for the suicide bikers. They exist here too, but rarely in such large groups. Ah, oh, the countries are interesting. Gotta plan my next vacation. For now we are finished. You go watch another episode here and um, I'm signing off.